Event photography workflow. As event photographers, we have to basically have the image taken and available for viewing within moments of the guests leaving the backdrop. So basically what we do is all photographs are taken and images are transferred wirelessly to the IMAX and we process all of our event photography running Lightroom 5. The reason for this is we're able to do the few edits that we require fastly, efficiently and instantly in front of guests. One such um, situation is sometimes we have guests with um, with skin, with poor skin. And here we have a lady here who's got nothing major, slight few pimples on the forehead. So what we try to do is <coughs> remove those quickly and efficiently for the customer. Now we could use a preset, and uh, on that preset, which we would find over this side of Lightroom, we could reduce the clarity, etc. But that has a global effect, so reduce the um, look of the eyes, nose, lips, hair, etc. And basically that flattens the image, so it takes away some of the 3D effect of the image and makes it look flat and quite boring. So what we prefer to do is to create a brush. So I'll show you the brush that we create and what we use. So we shall open the brush. What we do is we are going to drop the clarity down to 80, around about 80. Push the sharpness up just by maybe 10. We then go into custom, click custom, save current settings and we will call that QQQ just for these so we can access it later. So we now have the brush created and that is instantly accessible um, at any time during the event. So we now, what we basically do is we paint the whole image with that brush and as you can see the effect straight away reduces the effects of the blemishes on the lady's forehead. But what it's also done is it's reduced the clarity, sharpness of the eyes bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, the lips and the hair. So if we go back into the brush, what we can do is to bring back that 3D effect as if we hold down the ALT button that brush now becomes an eraser. So we'll erase the effects from the eyes, from the eyebrows and you'll see hopefully with the if you're watching, you'll see the effect immediately. We'll bring back the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, and the lady's lips. Just bring in the hairline. I mean, I'm using a Wacom tablet at the moment, so everything's done instantly for us, which we do use at events. And basically, within seconds, we have a subtly reduced effect. The lady's skin looks cleaner. Although we haven't completely removed all of the effects. Um, of the pimpling etc on red and we don't want to make it look like a china doll it's supposed to be subtle um, so the lady or in fact gentleman goes away and the image still looks like them so I'll just show you now the before that's the before and that's the after before and after and again once you're up and running um, the application of that, of that effect literally does take five to ten seconds and that image is complete um, and ready for the customer to purchase. So we'll go straight into the command module, uh, the print module, and there's the image ready. Um, our logo is automatically placed upon every print. We can do some subtle adjustments within only a fixed plane on Lightroom. And there you go, that image is now ready for printing, purchasing and delivering to the customer.